All right, Kenman here, and today we are going to see if I can turn that turd into a gem. Round two. Right. So I've got this Gerber here that we took apart in uh, the first video. You can check that out right there. And uh, we're just seeing if I can uh, change this and transform it into something a little bit cooler than it was, which shouldn't be tough because it had some issues. This was definitely a budget knife. Um, when you check out that other video, you'll see it had all types of silliness that we're going to try to get rid of and maybe make a little bit better, turn it into almost a functioning cheapo. Um, before I start, I'm not sponsored by anyone. Purchase everything at retail price. And I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Okay, well the main thing is I did the laser mark on the scales. So there's this schmutz that was in there. I don't know what that grease is from. That's where the spring, this is the spring for the uh, assist was that we're not going to put back in. But I'm just going to leave that in there because I don't know, why not? Um, but if you look at... You look at these little white dots right there. Come on, focus. Is that focusing on there? I can't tell. But these dots, those are my test laser marks. And so I did one, I changed the settings a little bit, and I did another one, and I changed the settings. I ended up with one that made a real nice, clean, crisp color and line. And then I went and got, put a pattern on the other side. What's everyone think? So here's the two scales with the completed custom laser mark. It kind of had a secondary color fake bolster section, so I decided to leave that clean. I masked that area off and then put that laser mark with a kind of a wave pattern on both sides. So a little bit of an improvement on the style look of it. Okay, Kenman, can you get this back together? If you remember, Taking it apart, I had some serious issues with the Loctite on some of these screws, and I could not get them off. And so I ended up having to end the video, and then I made another little short video where I did um, manage to slowly pry them and get this thing completely turned down. Um, but here we are. Let's see how well this goes. Instantly bad. Okay, this backspacer goes right there. Oh, does it go this way? It's this way. Add it upside down. Holy cow, that barely fits on that thing. Are you kidding me? There we go. All right, so there's your plastic backspacer. Um, all right, so let's think. This is the screw that's going to go in there, but I think I might have to put the blade on first. There is a washer there, and the other washer that goes on top. I'm going to let the blade be closed for now. That fell through there. There's the backstop for the blade that goes in there if I can keep it in there I should probably screw those down first huh because it's not gonna hold together I'm having realizations the design of this is a little odd so I literally think I probably need to put couple of these screws in now one those are the one two three four so there's eight so these should all be the same but they are not of course I did not measure that I'm pretty sure those two are for the pocket clip and we have some longer ones and some shorter ones it looks like the longer ones are probably up top. 
course I did not pay attention to that. And that. Oh, uh, done that before. That needs this. The fun challenges. This one's definitely going to be interesting. We'll see how long it takes. Try not to jinx it. Try not to scratch this scale. And that thing dropped in there easy the first time. There we go. Alright, we got one started. I am not going to crank them all the way down. I'm just going to get this sort of being held together so that when we do the final tightening we can make sure the blade is centered that might be where a shorter screw goes feels like so I'm going to try that almost looks like there's three different size screws I uh Ay ay ay. That's an interesting one. Okay, that is good. We're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. All right, so those two are the same size. Those two are longer. Those two are the same size. We're going to try. I just don't know. We'll try the shorter one first, I guess. Uh, that grabbed. Okay, sorry if I'm not as talkative on this one at this moment. It's, uh, oh, that needs to go. The spacer had kind of pushed out, and so the screw wasn't grabbing it. All right, we have stuff. We have things. Let's go ahead and do... I think I can do this side without, no, I think I need to put that on and then put the, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, next step. Let's put the blade on here and get that washer back on there. Okay, now we can go ahead and put this screw in maybe so the pivot gets buttoned up before you even complete the knife wow I need to set that down and help feed it like this and then I need to remember that that's a sharp blade right there and to be cautious while wow, it's tough to get started in there because it doesn't want to be straight. I'm trying to get that first thread going. Sorry, I apologize. The angle of this might might not be able to see what I am doing. I'm trying to get that pivot screw going in straight. There we go. And I got it. Now that's going to be interesting because I'm not going to be able to get to that. Oh no. After the blade. After I put it back together, I won't be able to touch that because it's going to be hidden, which is kind of an issue because I won't be able to make that adjustment. So we got to make sure we're deciding. I don't know, but that is loose. So how are we going to button this up properly? It has a lot of play. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So that seems to be as tight as I can make that. That's like cranked down now and straight. So I'm getting the spin. That just came slightly loose. I'm going to tighten that screw back down a little bit. Okay, so blade is loose yet tight. <laughs> right? Right? Okay, so this goes through here. Somehow. Okay, so we've got the middle piece. It's going to go in between there like so. Okay. All right. And then this is going to go through the top. And then this is going to go through the bottom. We need to crank that down. Then where do those sit? That's what I don't remember. Okay, so what is happening right now? Okay, so that is supposed to be in here and probably like that. And then this one, I can finish cranking that down. And I believe these are both supposed to go shoot up or down. Make a guess. We're going to say it's up. <laughs> Could be down. All right, so this spring is the one we're using. It goes in there like that. Or actually, it goes on the top. This goes on first. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Oh, I did that wrong, huh? That is where that screw... I have to put that scale on first. Apologize. This is a toughie. Where are we at? 13 minutes. I knew it was going to take a while. The complexity of the lock and everything. Why is that now dropped? Good times, good times. Okay. There we go. I kind of settled just a little bit. It's still kind of really low. I can't even get to the. If I put this on there. here where you're supposed to be that is a touchy one okay everybody uh, having a good time you like what you see go ahead and pop that like button subscribe if you'd like to see more <laughs> Like watching me struggle. It's fun. All right, come on. I have to loosen that. I didn't want to. Thought I could maybe sneak this in there. 
but it looks like Got a blade. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and fast forwarded that for a while. Um, try to ease the pain of what just happened. Um, but I think we might have this ready to go. I don't know if that's straight. It needs to go up or down. But we're dealing with it. And it looks like I can bring that down. It locks into place. And then I can close it. I'm worried about that pivot being a little, I had some issues when we were going on high speed, kind of curious about how tight I want that to be, because once we put this on, I'm going to lose the ability to change that, see, and it doesn't really swing, of course, stuff isn't completely tightened down yet, so it's not quite correct, but... Okay. So we're going to go ahead and throw this one on and just to test it out and we'll see what we think. The longest one went up in there for sure. How's everyone doing? Did you enjoy the, the fast forward? Oh, that's, I'm actually, that's actually spinning on itself. How about that? Yeah, I don't, uh, usually I try to just go straight through, but, uh, that was, this is getting to be a long video, and so I decided, and, you know, probably fast forward some of that in the middle, kind of relieve a little bit of that pain, <laughs> but we're getting it, it's happening, I'll get her back together here, again, this was an inexpensive turd, I called it. Trying to polish it up here and just see if we can make something of it. A spring assisted um, crossbar lock makes the crossbar bar lock not actually work because usually you would squeeze that crossbar and the blade will drop. Well, with a spring assist, you squeeze the crossbar and then you still got to close it with the other hand because of the spring assist. It's an odd combination. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, it's hitting. What did that hit? Okay. Tighten that down. Go ahead and tighten everything down. Oh, I can't do that because it's they're free spinning.
All right, bumping the screen. There we go. I'm just going to tighten everything down. It's a little bit different on this one than others. So I don't know about how easy the centering will be and the just pretty much everything about this one. Oh my god, these things just spin, don't they? How about that? It's tight. So this one should get tight, but it doesn't. Because it probably needs to be one of those longer ones. Alright, well, the blade is centered. <laughs> okay, I haven't put the pocket clip on because I might need to take this apart a couple more times and mess around with it. But here we are. It is back together for the most part. Seems a little sloppy. See, it doesn't have a detent because it's like that, so... <laughs> but it does hold it in. What is holding it in? Oh. Something's kind of catching right here. And I think it's because this used to have the assist up against it. So it's kind of a little wobbly. But the blade does drop. But if you look, you can see it kind of wiggles back and forth. I need to figure out if I can make that not do that. But because it had that spring... Here we are, the Gerber, whatever turd this is called, $17 knife, kind of turned it into a crossbar knife here. Took me 32 minutes to do it, but it probably won't be that long. Like I said, I'll go in and uh, maybe edit the, speed up the footage a little bit for you. Um, if you just go like this, it just falls forward. So it doesn't, ha, I was going to say it doesn't drop out, but looks like you can shake it out. Shake it out just like that. <laughs> I just hold it and shake. Oh, that's, that's safe. But uh, then you can bring that crossbar down and it does drop. It's interesting. This actually has sort of turned into a crossbar lock in a way. If we could get that to stay closed a little better, I could get a little more pressure on there. It's actually not that bad. Flip, close, flip, close. What's everyone think about it? Did we uh, did we improve the look at least? I've been taking these. I can probably do this here. I'll, I'll take a, a screenshot of my first video and put it above this one. You can see the before and after. Even though the only difference really is the laser mark. Which looks kind of fun. What's everyone think? Comment below. Tell me. What does everyone think about me messing around with this cheapo? Did I put way more time into it than I uh, needed to? Perhaps. I would say, you know, maybe if I mess around with that a little bit more, strengthen that up, I might be able to turn this into a polished turd. It's still a turd. It's 3CR. Or wait, no, this isn't 3CR. This one was better than that, wasn't it? Doesn't say. I can't remember. It might have been 7CR or something. Anyway, here we are. Got it all done. It's sort of fun. I'll mess around. You'll probably see some more stuff of this in the future. Tell me what you think. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.